Hello guys, finally Kim Puch here. Welcome to another Red Shadow Legends video. In this video, guys, we are going to take a look upcoming fusion for the Halloween, guys. All right, as you guys see, the game has a Halloween team active right now. We just got that today, and this fusion is going to start on the October 31, guys. Next Thursday, basically next week, and the fusion is Legendary Champion Force Affinity from the Secret Order. This is the Gretel. And she have a brother, guys, and her brother name is Hansa. We are gonna check both of them. They are skilled. I'm gonna leave you guys my opinion about them. Uh, so if you guys love my content, please consider to sub my YouTube channel and like my video. That can help a lot, guys. Let's jump the fusion now. This fusion going to be classic fusion starting next week, October 31. She's like I mentioned earlier, Legendary Champion, Force Affinity, Attack Type, and the, from the Secret Order. Let's take a look to her A1 skill. Attack one enemy has 50% chance of to place a decreased defense debuff for two turns. If the Hansel, her brother, which is we are going to talk about him after the fusion, stay tuned for that, is on the same team, attack all enemy instead. Has 25% chance of to place in decreased defense debuff on the all enemies for two turn. Also place an extra hit if the targets, if the enemies under any buff. The chances increasing by 25% after you book. Uh, so basically, guys, her A1 skill become an AoE attack if the, her brother is on the same team. If her brother is not on the same team, then she's gonna attack the one target and place a decrease defense debuff on it. Uh, it doesn't say anything about cannot we resist that, which means we need a accuracy for the land uh, decrease defense debuff from the A1 skill. Her A2 skill. This is very interesting skill actually, guys. Attack one enemy four times. Okay. The first hit will ignore 10% target defense. Second hit ignore 15% target defense, 30 20% and the 40 the last one will ignore 25% target defense. If this attack kills an enemy, highly possible, reset the cooldown of this skill and fill the champion turn meter by 50%. So she's going to kill the target 50% turn meter, she's going to get a turn again and she's going to use this skill and she can do some Domino effect like that guys, okay? Keep that in your mind. Looking very solid. And the good thing is, after you book this skill, which is kinda don't need it because she's mostly going to kill the target, but cooldown going to be reset the three turn after you book. Her A3 skill. Attack all enemies, decrease the turn meter of the all enemies by 25%. Sorry for the alert guys, I forget to look it, my bad. Let's repeat it again. Attack all enemies, decrease the turn meter of the all enemies by 25%. If the Hansel, her brother, is on the same team, decrease the turn meter of the all enemies by 50% instead. This effect cannot be resisted. Uh, I believe, guys, this effect cannot be resisted part uh, when his brother in the same team. So if you guys are going to use her alone, you guys probably need a accuracy for that. Uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, then fill this champion turn meter by 20% for each enemy alive after the attack. Another good thing is, after we book, it's going to be 3 turn cooldown, guys. Okay, so she's going to be decrease enemies turn meter, which is not going to work on the Hydra. Uh, Hydra. Arena wise can work. And uh, if they survive, uh, she's going to get more turn meter fill from the each enemy alive after the attack. So in the arena, there is a four enemy. Let's say worst case happened. Uh, they all of them survive. So 20, 40, 60 and 80 percent tormentor field. Like even she kill only one of them. Still 60 percent tormentor field. Actually looking not bad guys on the paper. And the passive skill. Uh, passive skill has passive and the active effect. Active effect has the cooldown, which is three turn. Passive effect doesn't have a cooldown. Let's read the passive effect. First of all, fill the champion turn meter by 50% whenever an enemy is granted extra turn. Uh, well, she already can be very strong uh, champion like Rotos extra turn. And especially champion like, uh, how to say that, like Renate the set, 
kind of meta right now on the Maricha. Lots of the people using Relentless Set on the Maricha. And if the Relentless Set proc, I believe that's also going to trigger this passive skill. So she can get 50% turn meter feel from it. Champion like Marius actually guys. Marius A3 skill. Which is Marius super meta right now. Uh, let me show you that quickly. Marius. Uh, that A3 skill guys give him extra turn. She can also kind of counter attack against him. Obviously after he got an extra turn he's gonna smack. Uh, but yeah. Keep that in your mind. And another thing guys. Uh, actually. What is the other meta right now? I already mentioned she can be counter attack the Rotos. But most of the Rotos built right now. Included mine. Can't say it's very good but. 9 piece merciless guys. 9 piece merciless also have a chance to give you extra turn. Uh, so champion like Rotos, Wukong actually, uh, I personally use Wukong on the 9 piece as well. Sigfront, I personally don't have him, but some people also use Sigfront on the Merciless set. Can be strong against them, but let's keep continue reading the skill. If the Hansel, her brother, is on the same team, also feel they are terminated by 50% whenever enemy granted extra turn. So if you're using both of them in the arena, uh, this passive effect going to fill both of them turn meter by 50% when the enemy got extra turn. There is also active skill like I mentioned earlier. If the Han Cell is on the same team and killed by the enemy, instantly activate the secret ritual skill. This is the her A3 guys. So attack an enemy, decrease their turn meter. If they survive, boost her turn meter. This active effect only going to work if the Hansel on the same team, guys. So if you don't have a Hansel, you don't have to worry about this active effect. You are only going to use the her passive effect. And the Sheva Aura as well increase the ally attack in the all battle 30%, which is awesome. All battle auras are super important, especially after they release the siege. So that was the fusion, guys. Obviously. She looks like a DPS champion and hard to judge the DPS champion without seeing their multiplier. But let's take a look at her uh, brother right now. Maybe it's a better to talk uh, after we see the brother skill as well. Let's go. Here we go, guys. Hansel, Gretel, Witch. Hansel, Gretel against Witch. You know, they are eating each other or something like that. You guys know the story, right? It's been a long time I didn't hear that, guys. I'm sorry. I'm getting old, okay? So before we start reading the Hansel, their skill is very symmetric, guys. You guys are going to understand that real quickly. But let's get started with the, his type. His legendary champion, Secret Order. Again, Secret Order, both of them in the same faction. He's also attack, but he's a magic champion. Gretel was the force and he's a magic champion, guys. Okay. Hansel A1 skill. Attack one enemy, 50% chance of to place a weaken debuff instead of the defense down, which is the Gretel was doing defense down. He's place a weaken. If the Gretel is the so on the same team, then attack all enemies. Same for the Gretel, right? And uh, this time he's gonna place a weaken debuff on the all enemies. Also place an extra hit enemies under any debuff. So Gretel was place a deck this defense. And if the Hansel on the same team, attack an enemy, right? And they place an extra hit, enemies under any buff. Hansel plays a weaken, same stuff going on. But he's place an extra hit, enemies under any debuff, guys. Okay? A2 skill, attack one enemy twice, will ignore shield and the unkillable buff. Grant extra turn if this attack kills an enemy. Uh, this skill has a triton cooldown. And the A3 skill, attack all enemies, will ignore 15% of the each target defense. Also increase the cooldown of the one random skill on the each enemies by 2 turn. If the Gretel on the same team, this getting juicier, will ignore 30% of the target defense instead. And will also increase the cooldown of the all enemy skill by 2 turn all enemy skill, not one random all enemy skill. This cooldown increasing effect cannot be resisted, guys. Okay? No accuracy needed if the Gretel is on the same team. And this skill also has a 3 turn cooldown. Passive skill, like the Gretel, has an active effect. And the passive effect, active effect. Effect has a 3 turn cooldown. Let's read the passive skill first. Reflect all the fear and the true fear debuff from this champion to the attacker. If the Gretel on the same team... 
also reflect all fear and the true fear debuff placed on the Gretel back to the attacker. So maybe you guys confuse. What kind of logic is that? You know, I mean, why fear? You know? So guys, here is the thing. There is a one more champion, which is... Uh, we still don't know her skill officially. But it's an upcoming mythical champion. Pilarum also released a teaser video about it. From the undead faction, guys. Okay? We are going to get a upcoming new mythical undead champion. And her abilities has the fear, true fear debuff. And Hansa greater against the witch. So... This is why they design like that. I'm not saying they are going to counter the Neve upcoming mythical champion, but I think the logic is for her. Okay? She had true fear ability basically. And the active effect, which is Triton cooldown, if the Gretel is on the same team and the killed by the enemies, instantly activate the uh, his A3 skill, which is attackal enemy, and the lock out them all of their skill. And this cooldown increasing effect cannot be resisted because Gretel going to be on the same team. Passive skill also similar with the Gretel. And the aura guys, his aura not that great as the Gretel but still we take it. Ally attack, arena battle 33%. So now let's talk about them. First of all, uh, hard to judge the DPS champion without seeing their multiplier. And the... Uh, they have a good potential to get it right. But we are going to get the fusion champion. Getting Hansel not going to be that easy. But here is the thing guys. There is a high chance Hansel can be guaranteed. I'm not saying it's going to be. But I feel it guys. So this fusion is give me vibe of uh, the fusion we got back in the day. The anchor fusion guys. So we got the anchor fusion right. She was amazing. So we decided to go for her. Even without Narciss. But after short amount of the time, surprisingly, they release a Narciss Guarantee event, which is all you need to do, open 110, which chart to get the Narciss. So they are the couple champion, Ankara was the fusion, and they did a guarantee for the Narciss. There is a chance, I'm not saying going to be, but there is a chance they can do the similar with the Hansel and the uh, Gretel. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, the uh, witch, which is the going to be undead mythical champion, have a fear abilities. <laughs> Not sure it's going to be that easy to use that lady uh, against them. But I guess uh, we have to wait and see the witch mythical champion abilities as well. Uh, beside the, this mythical, beside the counter attack the mythical, can we use them on the arena? Guys, first of all, Myself, I'm not big fan of the attack champion. I wish one of them is the support, the other one is the attack. Maybe that will be better, like the Ankara and the Narciss. You know, one of them is the HP Nuker, the other one is the support champion, which in HP Nuker is kind of easier to keep them alive because attack Nukers, Sukishi, especially attack champion, attack DPS champion, without having utilities, it's hard to keep them alive. So, which attack champion I like? Rotos, guys, because he have a huge, uh, amazing passive skill. It's not that easy to get one shot. Sick front, etc. You know, Wukong, he can die, but he can come back. You know, you don't have to worry about the reviving him all the time. Gretel and the Hansel can be also very strong on the siege defense, guys. You know, if there, are, uh, if there is a like room, use the secret champion, uh, secret order champion only. Can be strong against them. But then, if you look at the secret uh, order uh, factions, there is a champion called the Vitreus. And the Vitreus has a passive skill against the Lokat team. And the Hansel and the Gretel, they are, uh, I believe, like, how to say that, like, big annoying skills, especially Hansel have, when the Gretel on the same team, uh, put the enemy skill on the cooldown, this effect cannot be resisted. Also, not only Vitreus, guys, in the siege against the secret order rooms only, condition only. Well, sure, they can look at me, but look at doesn't mean I'm not going to get a turn. I'm not going to use my A1 skill, right? Because both of them is the attack champion, they are going to be squishy. Uh, well, you can use Arix, which is, that's what I'm doing against the enemy attack champion. 
they can lock out me, they can place a block active skill or the normal lock out me. But my A1 skill is attack all enemy. Okay, uh, sorry, you guys wasn't see that attack all enemy on the Arix, right? And uh, the other champion, which is super meta right now, and everybody eventually going to get him, is the Marius. Marius also have a attack all enemies. It's not going to be that easy to keep Hansel and the Gretel alive against the Marius or the Arix A1 skill, guys. Okay, I still didn't decide to go for the fusion or the skip it. I'm gonna wait and see her multiplier. But there is a high chance Hansel can be guaranteed if you guys are going for the Gretel fusion. Keep that to your mind. Thank you so much for the watching, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. Hopefully, this video can give you some idea going for the fusion or the skipping. Below to the video, let me know if you guys are going for the fusion or not. I'm also going to make a poll on my YouTube uh, community tab. So I want to see you guys' reaction about this fusion. You guys going or the skipping? And have a nice day, guys. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,